everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all having an amazing week so far and are doing really well. And in today's video, I'm so excited to finally be doing a hair tutorial video. And the best part about this is it's the hair that I have pretty much every single day. So I feel really comfortable explaining this to you guys. And I think I've got a few tips and tricks that really help me get this hairstyle down. So today we are going to be doing a loose curl, soft waves, whatever you want to call it, tutorial. Um, you can obviously see from the photo in the still what the finished product will look like. So that is what I'm going to teach you to do today. And I actually only need three things to accomplish this task. The first is a curling iron and this is my Conair Infinity. <laughs> I've, I've used it so much it's literally like rubbing off here. But this is the Conair Infinity curling iron. It's a one inch barrel and it has a clamp with it. Did smoke. I can't see if it picked up on the screen, but some steam just came out of it. Um, this is the curling iron I've been using since the eighth grade. I remember getting this curling iron and there was a girls night out. I think we were supposed to go see the Hannah Montana movie or something and I was running late and it was my first time trying to do this and I didn't know what the clamp was supposed to do. Basically these curls that had been caught in the clamp and so were kind of just like at a right angle and like going all different directions and I was like, you know what, practice makes perfect. And I've pretty much been curling my hair like this every day since then. <laughs> so this is something that again, I'm very familiar with, very used to. So this is the tool that I have been using the entire time I've been doing this and I keep using it. I think I'm going to have to repurchase soon because as you saw this is fading off and I feel like it's going to short out at any moment now. I've probably had it for three years at this point. Um, the second thing that I'm going to use is my Dove Extra Hold Hairspray. This is also a favorite that dates back to like the eighth grade. Every time I smell this I smell like the first date I ever went on because I got really nervous and used too much hairspray but you don't need to hear about that. And I also just need a handy dandy hair tie. So depending on how your hair is cut, um, I know for people who have layers it might make sense to kind of pull the top half back and do the bottom part first. My hair is all one length so for me I just like to separate it into left side right side and the reason that I do this is because sometimes you can miss curls in the back and there's nothing more depressing than having perfect beachy waves and then having like one straight strand <laughs> coming down the back. So if you're new to my channel and you've never been here before, just so you know, this is my natural hair. So I showered last night and let it air dry. This is what my hair looks like. And yeah, let me show you now how I curl my hair because that's why you watch this video anyway. Will this girl shut up and show me how to do my hair? So I like to curl my hair from back to front and I think I usually also like to start left to right. Um, I feel like that just makes things easier. For me, for my hair texture, this curling iron has numbers here that go from 1 to 25 and they're odd numbers. Since I never hold the clamp on my hair for too long, I usually have the heat set somewhere between 19 and 21. So if you're someone whose hair is more sensitive to heat, you can totally use a lower heat setting to do this. But I also don't hold my hair for that long because it doesn't take that long for it to curl. So if you have thicker hair, you might want to up the heat setting so that it can um, accommodate your hair and make sure that it really stays curled. So again, I work from back to front and I grab a piece of hair, usually this big, I'd say that's maybe about an inch. And the trick to this also is that I always leave a tiny bit of the end out. You don't want to leave ever really, I think about an inch is the right amount to leave out. You don't want to leave more than that because then it kind of looks like you forgot to curl the bottom part of your hair. Unless that's the look you're going for. I've definitely had days where I've done that. Also feel free to grab your hair where it feels right to grab it because some days your hair wants to fight with you and it's always better to kind of just go with what your hair naturally wants than to try to like contort it into something that it doesn't want to be. So. I usually hold each piece on for, you know, maybe like five to ten seconds. Mississippi seconds, if you guys have seen that video where the girl literally fries her hair off while she's curling it. It's so sad. Let's hope I don't do that while I'm filming this. Um, and another thing that I found is very useful for me is I really like to grab the clamp on in the middle of my hair. Some people I know start at the bottom and kind of wind back up and I've also even seen some people like start from the top and also have their curling iron upside down like this. Um, the main reason I don't do that is because this cord is not long enough really for me to be doing that. I found that starting in the middle is way easier because then it can allow you to adjust like one way or the other. So if you missed more up here, you can kind of like work it back up. Or if you didn't quite catch the end the way you wanted to, you can bring it back down. So yeah, these are looking slightly more like curl curled at the end so far. There's a few pieces where the ends hang out, but when we go to style it at the end, I'll show you what I do about that. And 
yeah, this is pretty much how it goes all the way around. And as you can see, again, I start in the middle and then kind of work my way back up and let the clamp like have the ends kind of stick out just as much as they need to. And then when I pull down, I also try to pull like straight down at the bottom so that the end doesn't turn into like a super curly cue at the bottom, but it kind of just like comes out in that really nice way, if you can see that. And I have been alternating on this side, but when I get to the front of my face, I always curl the pieces what is this counterclockwise like away from my face so that they kind of can go this way um, I have never really ever seen someone successfully crawl them into their face but if you do that or know someone who does that does that does that please let me know because I'd be very interested to see how that works but in my experience it's always been easiest to kind of take your hair and curl it away from your face just when you get to those front layers because the reason you want them to alternate is so that they don't all go in the same direction and then get spiraled together into one big like huge kind of curl like pageant girl curls is what I'm kind of picturing um, but you definitely want it to have you know that like back and forth of it and that waviness and the best way to make sure that the waves can actually maintain themselves is to alternate the directions so that each wave kind of has its own thing going on as you can see. So that wasn't too bad, it didn't take too long and I've got yep, all of the hairs back there so I'll go ahead and take this side out and do the same thing over here. And there we go and we're almost done the first thing that I like to do after I have gone through and curled all my hair the way I wanted to is to kind of just look back and especially kind of in the middle to back pieces make sure that I didn't miss anything and also make sure that you know if maybe like one curl didn't exactly curl the way I wanted it to if I want to recurl it and give it a little bit more oomph or maybe take half of the section that I had taken the first time that I curled it um, to kind of just make sure that it gets a little bit more of a boost. So maybe this piece is a good one. Good example of that. I also want to point out that for beachy waves, I avoid like going all the way up to the top to curl the hair. I usually leave it somewhere right around... Um, I don't know what this is, <laughs> like the top circumference of your head. I think you know what I mean, but I don't tend to take it all the way up to the top just because then it can kind of get too voluminous and I like more of the volume to be in the middle section of my hair than I do on the top. But if you're looking for bigger curls like that, definitely consider bringing your iron closer up to the top of your head because I think that will make the difference that you're looking for. So yeah, just grabbing like these tiny little sections and giving them a once over can make such a big difference. Okay, the last thing that I like to do is give it a little shake out and then I spray it with this Dove hairspray. The reason I love this is because it really holds them super well. Like if I don't do this, I could walk out and my curls could be, depending on like the humidity and things like that, especially in New York in the summer not cute but if you want to make sure that they stay this is a really soft hold so it doesn't make your hair hard or crunchy that's my one of my absolute pet peeves I just got like a chill just thinking about it but it will hold the texture of your hair and if you do spray too much just give it a tiny brush out like take a section of um, your hair and just grab your brush and go over it lightly and I think that'll help a lot of the problem but this hairspray like I said I've been repurchasing it for about 10 years now, so I can vouch for it, but let me give it a good shake out first. All right, and then we'll give it a spray. All right, awesome, and that is exactly how I wanted it to look. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helps some of you out. I feel like this is such an easy hairstyle to do once you master it, but if you're just trying it for the first time, it can seem pretty much impossible. So if this helped any of you out in any way, avoid some hair stress, then I'll have done my job. And if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every week. And as always, if you have any requests for videos, definitely let me know. I would love to hear stuff that you would love for me to do. Um, sometimes it's things that I would have never thought of. So definitely leave your thoughts down below in the comments 
comments. Also give this video a thumbs up if you really liked it and also share it with your friends if they um, are looking for a new video and a new way to do their hair. So yeah, anyway, thank you all again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.